Lucy, we're here in Amsterdam today, a few weeks before you will be going to Kiev. Where are you on, in your preparations for the big contest? Oh, we're ready. We've, we've been getting ready for quite a while now, and uh, I, feel, I feel like I could go on tonight and I could, we could do it. We could, we could do our full performance. We're ready. What's the most important thing that you've been working on then in the last couple? So we've been working on everything. We've been working on my vocals, on the staging, on the outfit, on my facial expressions, everything, just to make sure that people connect with the song at home as well as they do in the room with me. Uh, and there's so many aspects that are so important. Um, I can't pick the most important one. <laughs> You've been working. Is, is, is um, Emily, uh, is she involved in, this, in the process still? You're a songwriter. No, no. Emily co-wrote the song uh, and she came to watch the UK final, which was really nice of her. But um, since then, no, it's been, it's been a total, like, you know, it's about us now and doing what we want to do going forward. How did you get in touch with her uh, to, to, yeah, to get the song that you have right now that she wrote? I, it, nothing to do with me. The song was brought to me, uh, and as soon as I heard it, I fell in love with it. And I, I just said, "That has to be my song. I need to sing this song." Um, so I was thrilled to find out that it was written by Emily uh, and, and by Dan and by all the other guys. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of it came to me rather than me going to her. So you say she's not on your team right now uh, uh, anymore, going on the worst to Kiev? No, she, um, I'm just saying, you know, the creative side of it is, is now in the hand, hands of other people. Who, who are these people that are helping you right now and, and what, are they, what are they doing to get you ready? So we have people helping us with staging and styling and makeup and hair and so many things that you just wouldn't even think that you'd need help with but you do <laughs> so it's, it's a it's a really great group of people and I feel very safe in their hands it's bigger maybe even than anything you've ever done before uh, it it's definitely feels bigger than everything I've ever done yeah during the show in which you were elected to to, to represent uh, the UK at Eurovision we saw a few clips that sort of made us worry that the BBC maybe not be so happy to have Australia in the Eurovision Song Contest how, uh, how, about, how, about, how about you? How do you feel about this contest going beyond the borders of Europe? I don't think that's true at all. I think it was all about celebrating the fact, uh, clearing up maybe why a country on the other side of the world is involved in Eurovision. Uh, but it definitely wasn't a negative thing at all. I thought it was really good, actually. Um, and I think it's really nice. It's really nice that we have people from all over the world coming and being part of this huge competition. It's all about music and love, and it's amazing.